Top 10 Things to Do in Oslo Hello and welcome to our video about the top 10 things to do in Oslo, a beautiful and vibrant city that offers a perfect balance of natural beauty, culture and urban excitement. From stunning natural surroundings to a thriving cultural scene, Oslo truly has it all. Make sure to watch until the end as we've saved the best thing to do in Oslo for last. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for the best travel information about Europe. We use a mix of travel experience, a lot of local knowledge and reviews to provide you with the most reliable and relevant travel information in Europe. So be sure to visit our website for the biggest travel website about Europe. Oslo is the capital and largest city of Norway. It's located on the southern coast of the country, at the northern end of the Oslo Fjord. The population of Oslo is approximately 700,000, making it the most populous city in Norway. The city boasts a rich history and culture, with museums, galleries and other cultural institutions showcasing the best of Norwegian art, history and heritage. One of the most stunning attractions of Oslo is the Oslo Fjord, which offers spectacular views of the water and surrounding hills. The Aker Brig waterfront area is a popular spot for tourists to enjoy a leisurely walk, dine in one of the many restaurants and explore the various shops and boutiques. The city's architecture is another attraction that should not be missed, with buildings that range from historic to contemporary. Visitors can explore the Goldstave Church, a rare example of a medieval wooden church style, as well as the modernist Oslo City Hall and contemporary marvels such as the Astrup Fernley Museum of Modern Art. Oslo is also a great city for foodies, with a wide variety of restaurants serving traditional Norwegian cuisine as well as international fare. The Mathallen Food Hall is a popular destination for food lovers, with over 30 specialty food shops and restaurants. But let's start with a short introduction to the city's history. Oslo was founded in the year 1040 AD and was originally called Anslo, meaning meadow at the ridge. It served as Norway's capital city during the Middle Ages and later regained its status as the country's capital in 1814, following the dissolution of the union between Norway and Denmark. Today, Oslo is known for its vibrant cultural scene, modern architecture and dedication to sustainability and environmentalism. Now, let's take a look at the top 10 things to do in this amazing city. Number 10 visit the Oslo Opera House. The Oslo Opera House is an iconic landmark and a must-visit attraction in the heart of Oslo, Norway. The unique architecture of the building, designed by the Norwegian firm Snoheta, has made it an international sensation. The Opera House is situated at the head of the Oslo Fjord and its sloping white roof appears to rise from the waters of the fjord, providing visitors with a striking and unforgettable view of the cityscape. Visitors to the Opera House can not only admire its stunning exterior, but also enjoy world-class opera and ballet performances inside its modern and state-of-the-art facilities. The Opera House has three different stages, the main stage, the second stage and the studio, each offering a unique experience for the audience. What's also amazing about the Oslo Opera House is that it's not only a performance venue, but also a public space. The sloping roof of the building is accessible to visitors and offers a great vantage point for taking in panoramic views of Oslo. The roof is also a popular spot for locals and visitors to relax and sunbathe on sunny days. Another great feature of the Oslo Opera House is its commitment to sustainability. The building is designed to be energy efficient and is powered by renewable energy sources such as solar power and geothermal energy. Visitors can take guided tours to learn more about the building's sustainable features and its impact on the environment. Number 9. Visit the National Museum in Oslo The National Museum in Oslo is the largest museum in Norway, with a collection that spans over 2,000 years of Norwegian art, history and culture. The museum comprises several buildings, including the National Gallery, the Museum of Decorative Arts and Design and the Museum of Contemporary Art. The National Gallery houses the largest public collection of paintings, drawings and sculptures in Norway, with works by Norwegian and international artists, including Edvard Munch's famous painting, The Scream. The Museum of Decorative Arts and Design showcases objects from Norway's rich design history, from furniture and textiles to ceramics and glassware. The Museum of Contemporary Art features works by Norwegian and international artists, including video and installation art, photography and painting. 
Visitors to the National Museum can also enjoy a range of educational programs, including lectures, workshops and guided tours. The museum also has a gift shop and cafe on site. What makes the National Museum so amazing is its comprehensive collection of Norwegian art and cultural artefacts, spanning thousands of years of history. Whether you're interested in art, design or history, the National Museum has something for everyone. Number 8. See the Royal Palace The Royal Palace in Oslo is the official residence of the King of Norway and is located at the end of the main shopping street, Karl Johans Gatte. It was built in the 19th century and has served as the residence of the royal family since 1849. Visitors can take a guided tour of the palace during the summer months, where they can see the magnificent state rooms and learn about the history of the Norwegian monarchy. The palace is an impressive sight to behold, with its grand neoclassical facade and beautiful gardens. The changing of the guard ceremony, which takes place daily at 1.30pm, is a popular attraction for tourists and locals alike. Visitors can watch the guards, dressed in their traditional blue uniforms, march through the streets and perform their ceremonial duties in front of the palace. Inside the palace, visitors can see the lavish state rooms, which are decorated with intricate tapestries, paintings and furnishings. The tour also includes a visit to the palace chapel, which is a stunning example of Norwegian Rococo architecture. One of the most impressive parts of the palace is the King's Gallery which houses a collection of portraits of every king and queen of Norway since the 16th century. The gallery is a must-see for history buffs and art lovers alike. In addition to the guided tours, the palace also hosts a number of events throughout the year, including concerts and exhibitions. It's a popular venue for state dinners and official receptions and has played an important role in Norwegian history. Number 7. Walk along Karl Johans Gatte Karl Johans Gatte is the main street in Oslo, stretching from the Royal Palace to the Central Station. It's named after the Swedish-Norwegian king, Charles XIV, John, who ruled in the early 19th century. The street is an iconic symbol of Oslo and a popular destination for locals and tourists alike. What's so amazing about Karl Johans Gatte is the mix of old and new architecture, as well as the vibrant atmosphere. Walking down the street, you can admire beautiful buildings, such as the Parliament Building, the National Theatre and the University of Oslo. The street is also home to many trendy shops, cafes and restaurants, offering a variety of Norwegian and international cuisine. Another reason to visit Karl Johans Gata is the many events and festivals that take place here throughout the year. During the summer months, the street is bustling with people enjoying outdoor concerts, street performers and markets. In the winter, the street is decorated with festive lights and hosts the popular Christmas market. Overall, Karl Johans Gatte is a must-visit destination in Oslo. Whether you're looking for shopping, dining, cultural events or just a leisurely stroll, this iconic street offers something for everyone. Number 6. Visit the Okershus Fortress The Okershus Fortress is a medieval castle situated in the heart of Oslo. It was built in the late 13th century and has served as a royal residence, a military stronghold and a prison. The fortress offers visitors a glimpse into Norway's rich cultural heritage with its striking architecture and impressive fortifications. One of the most impressive features of the fortress is its stunning location on the Oslo Fjord, providing visitors with breathtaking views of the water and the city. The fortress is also home to several historic buildings, including the Royal Mausoleum, which houses the remains of Norwegian royalty and the Akershus Castle Church, which dates back to the 14th century. Visitors can explore the various parts of the fortress, including the medieval castle, which houses exhibitions on the castle's history, and the Museum of Norway's Resistance Movement, which highlights the country's role in World War II. The fortress also has several galleries that showcase the works of contemporary Norwegian artists. A visit to the Akershus Fortress provides a unique opportunity to immerse oneself in Norway's rich history and culture, while enjoying stunning views of Oslo and the fjord. Whether you're interested in history, architecture or simply want to experience the natural beauty of the region, the Akershus Fortress is a must-visit destination in Oslo. Number 5. Visit the Munch Museum The Munch Museum is one of the must-visit attractions in Oslo, known for its exceptional collection of works by the renowned Norwegian artist Edvard Munch. 
The museum houses the most extensive collection of Monk's work in the world, including several versions of his most famous painting, The Scream. Visitors can explore the different phases of Munch's career through his sketches, prints and paintings. The museum also showcases works by other artists who were inspired by Munch, providing a broader context for his art. One of the amazing things about the Munch Museum is the way it displays Munch's works. The museum's design creates a dramatic and intimate experience for visitors, with dimmed lights and spacious galleries that highlight the emotional intensity of Munch's work. The museum's permanent exhibition is arranged chronologically, allowing visitors to follow the evolution of Munch's style and themes throughout his life. Aside from the permanent exhibition, the Monk Museum also hosts temporary exhibitions and cultural events throughout the year. These exhibitions often explore themes related to Munch's art, such as his influence on contemporary artists or his connections to other cultural movements. Visiting the Monk Museum is a unique opportunity to experience the emotional power of Munch's work up close and to gain a deeper understanding of his significance in the history of art. It's a must-see for anyone interested in the art of the late 19th and early 20th centuries, and for those who appreciate the role that art plays in expressing the human condition. Number 4. Check out the Holmen Korlin Ski Jump The Holmen Korlin Ski Jump is a world-renowned landmark and attraction located in the Holmen Korlin suburb of Oslo. It's not only a popular tourist destination, but also a significant part of Norwegian sporting history. This ski jump was first built in 1892, but since then it's undergone several renovations and upgrades to become what it is today. Visitors to the Holmen Kollin ski jump can take a tour of the facility and learn about the history of the jump and the sport of ski jumping. The tour includes a visit to the ski museum, which displays the evolution of skiing and showcases the equipment and costumes used in the sport over the years. One of the most thrilling experiences at the ski jump is standing at the top of the tower, which is 60 meters high, and looking down at the steep slope below. Brave visitors can even take a ride on the zip line, which starts from the top of the tower and reaches speeds of up to 60 kilometers per hour. In addition to skiing, the Holmen Kollin area offers other activities such as hiking, cycling, and zip lining. Visitors can also enjoy a meal at the panoramic restaurant which offers a stunning view of Oslo and the surrounding fjords. The Holmen Kollen ski jump is a symbol of Norwegian history and culture, and it's hosted several major international skiing events, including the Nordic World Ski Championships and the Holmen Kollen Ski Festival. For anyone visiting Oslo, a trip to the Holmen Kollen ski jump is a must-see, as it provides a unique and exciting perspective on skiing and Norwegian culture. Number 3. Explore the Big Doi Peninsula the Big Doi Peninsula in Oslo is a must-visit destination for anyone interested in Viking history and maritime exploration. The peninsula is home to several world-renowned museums, including the Viking Ship Museum and the Kontiki Museum. The Viking Ship Museum houses three of the best-preserved Viking ships in the world, each over 1,000 years old. These magnificent vessels are stunning examples of Viking craftsmanship and provide a fascinating glimpse into the seafaring world of the Vikings. The museum also features a variety of Viking artifacts, including weapons, tools and textiles, providing a comprehensive understanding of Viking culture. The Kontiki Museum celebrates the life and achievements of Norwegian adventurer Thor Heyerdahl, who sailed from Peru to Polynesia on a balsa wood raft in 1947. The museum features the original Kontiki raft, along with other vessels used by Heyerdahl on his epic voyages. Visitors can also explore exhibits on Heyerdahl's archaeological expeditions and his impact on modern-day exploration. The Museum of Cultural History is also located on the Big Doi Peninsula. It boasts an extensive collection of artifacts and exhibits from various periods of Norwegian history, ranging from the Viking Age to the present day. In addition to the museums, the Big Doi Peninsula offers stunning natural beauty and outdoor activities. Visitors can enjoy a peaceful stroll along the waterfront or hike through the nearby forests. The peninsula also features several beaches, making it a popular spot for swimming and sunbathing in the summer. Number 2. Explore the Oslo Fjord on a sightseeing cruise Exploring the Oslo Fjord on a boat tour is an absolute must-do activity when visiting Oslo. The fjord is a stunningly beautiful natural feature, and experiencing it from the water offers an entirely different perspective. 
the tour typically takes around two hours and offers incredible views of the city from a distance. The stunning Oslo Opera House and the iconic Akershus Fortress are visible from the water. You can also expect to see a variety of different islands, both inhabited and uninhabited, each with its own unique character and charm. One of the highlights of the boat tour is the opportunity to visit some of the small villages and harbours located on the fjord, such as Hovedoya, which is home to an 800-year-old Cistercian monastery, and the charming island of Gresholmen, which is known for its beautiful beaches and excellent hiking trails. During the summer months, there are also many opportunities to stop off for a swim or some fishing in the crystal clear waters of the fjord. Another highlight of the boat tour is the chance to see some of the impressive waterfront homes and estates that line the fjord, as well as the many small boats and yachts that dot the water. The tour guides are typically knowledgeable about the history and culture of the region and are happy to share their insights and answer any questions you may have. Overall, exploring the Oslo Fjord on a boat tour is a unique and unforgettable experience that should not be missed. The stunning natural beauty of the fjord, combined with the opportunity to visit charming villages, historic sites and experience the local culture, make it an ideal way to spend a day in Oslo. Number 1. Visit Vigeland Park The best thing to do in Oslo is to visit the Vigeland Sculpture Park. The park, also known as Frogner Park, is one of the most famous tourist destinations in Oslo, Norway. It's the largest sculpture park in the world by a single artist, with over 200 bronze, granite and cast iron sculptures created by Gustav Wigeland. The park is located in the Frogner neighborhood and covers an area of 80 acres. It's a popular spot for picnics, outdoor concerts and leisurely walks. The sculptures are arranged along a central axis that leads to the monolith, a towering 46-foot-high granite sculpture comprising 121 entwined figures. The monolith is a breathtaking piece of art that represents the human desire for spiritual connection. The sculptures in the park depict various aspects of human life, such as love, death and family, and they convey a range of emotions, from joy to despair. The sculptures are strikingly lifelike and have a haunting beauty that draws visitors in. The most famous sculpture in the park is the Angry Boy, a bronze statue of a young boy with an angry expression on his face. Vigeland Park is a must-see attraction in Oslo, both for art lovers and for anyone who appreciates beautiful outdoor spaces. It offers a unique opportunity to see the works of a master sculptor in a stunning natural setting. Visitors can take a guided tour or explore the park on their own. The park is free to enter and is open all year round, making it a perfect destination for any season. Additionally, the park is easily accessible by public transport, making it a convenient destination for travellers. That's the end of our video of the top 10 things to do in Oslo. Check out more amazing videos on our YouTube channel or visit our website to find the best travel deals to Europe. See you next time!